Hey guys, Doug Bennett of The Bennett Method, and uh, I'm here today to show you a boxing bag uh, workout that you can do at home. Okay, obviously I have an uh, uppercut bag here. It's a little low, but that's okay because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you'll have a stand-up bag or a uh, hang, just straight heavy bag. So uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to do four-minute rounds, okay? Anytime you want to drill on something, you want to go four minutes, not three minutes. And we're going to do some uh, active rest in between. So we'll uh, go through that as we go. I think what we'll do is we'll do about uh, eight, eight rounds, okay, on the bag. And right now I have, uh, you know, my bag gloves right here. Okay, these are for uh, hitting the heavy bag. I have my easy wraps, which right now I just have for women, but this is actually a men's uh, version that's coming out soon. It's basically so easy. You just... Right now you got these little tabs right here, you can just pull off anytime you want. You slip it on, you basically lock it in here, and then you make a fist. You gotta make sure you make a fist and you cut your circulation off, and you lock it in there. Now it does come out with some uh, Mexican style hand, wrap, uh, hand wraps so you can, you know, enforce this so it actually keeps you really rigid. But uh, a lot of times I don't even use wraps myself, but you should, okay? But again, I haven't uh, hit the bag in a pretty long time. I've been doing some uh, some shadow boxing to get my shoulders in shape. And uh, like I said, it's been a while since I've really worked out like this. But anyways, long story short, we're going to do a heavy bag workout. I uh, hope you like it. I have this uh, crappy little app over here I'm going to use because mine's uh, in the gym. And I uh, hope you like it. But anyways, let's go. And we're going to make this real basic. And we're just going to get ready to uh, work out. Okay, so get your gloves wrapped up and we're gonna go. So right now, we're just gonna throw a one-two and then you gotta move, okay? Keeping your elbows in the whole time and keep your hands up. And try to relax, okay? Don't use any, any uh, muscle with it. Then you gotta bring it right back to your face. As I move. Notice how I move, I'm not crossing my feet, I'm not bringing them together. Okay, elbows in. Moving. Now you don't want to be coming up and down like this, all right? Just right back to your chin. Now your hands don't have to be up all the time. Because if you can keep all eight rounds up with your hands up, then good for you. That's how you want to practice though. Head moving. Moving. Switch up if you want. Down. Moving. Now I'll be tired too because I haven't hit the back. But, I'm saying, hey, next time to start working out, just show a video. By the way, guys, if you want to get bigger arms, get in shape, learn some boxing, have a, head over to the Better Method for Men. Just started the channel. Just left, left and right, very basic. Basics what works. Throwing my hip. I'm not going like this, okay? Just work in the bag. Hands back up. On the same square. Throw a little more heat if you want. Just 
Speed. You want to go really fast when you jab? It's going to open it up. You can throw your jab at different angles. Get your head out of line. Throw your two. Throw up jab. Straight jab. Fall off. I see a lot of guys they do a looping, looping right hand, which is fine. Right now we're gonna go straight. Okay? Alright, we're gonna go one minute. I want you to bounce. Really small space here. On the second bounce off to the off to the side. Turn. Elbows in. Now I love to do this on a track. I mean a field 50 feet. You want to get distance, okay? On a track or a field, you get, get really over, you want to push. Bounce, on your second bounce. Okay, it's gonna work your legs. You want to get low. Okay, right back from round two. Here we go. We're gonna jab. You're gonna do a shovel punch right here, okay? That's it. Do a shovel punch. Once I hit that bag, comes off my chin, right to the stomach, okay? It's a little fun. And it swings, which I like.
Keep your elbows in. Limp foot off. Off you. Jab off your face. Straight. Okay? Now you can, you can come out like this. That's fine too. But to practice, I want to try straight up your body. Okay. We're going back to that same thing, work on the same thing. Again, if you have a big distance, you're better off getting more. So one, two, bounce. One, two. You're gonna shift. Off to the side. Really? You wanna get distance. So if I was on the try field, 50 feet out, I'd go here, way over here. Okay, but I can't. <clears throat> Okay. Then what I would do is I back pedal. Okay, then start again, 50. See that? So you... And you do this 10 times, and you back pedal. Okay? You got it? Okay, so now we're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, right here. One, what? Round three. Right, it's one, two, one, whatever you want to call it. You can call it a jab, a seven, whatever you want to call it. It's up to the coach, coaching you. But for now, we'll call it one, two, one like everyone else. So, one, two, one, and move. Speed. One, two, one brings you back into position. Your hands back to your face. You don't want to be blind up here, but you want to be relaxed and be able to flow. That's why we don't want to get like a bodybuilder. You want to be too squared, you want to be too rigid. Moving. Moving. You want to kind of push off on the last one without losing your balance. Keep your feet under you. So if the bag's moving while you're punching, you're gonna keep your feet under you, okay? Then move out. Rock to the side. Move. Now. Once you get your breath good, you don't always have to breathe out because you want the person to know you're going to throw that jab. Because a good box will time you. They know it's coming before you go. But for now in practice, breathe. Moving. Setting. Set your feet before you punch. Don't let yourself rise up. Make sure that throws out. Now we're not gonna do a plank after this and then punch your bag and call that high level with a monitor on. It's not high level. Guys, if you're a pro boxer and you're doing that, you know as well as I do, that's called a fraud. Who tries to make up shit to sell a program. And they'll make you wear a mask, you'll hit a bag. If Muhammad Ali and Tyson did all that, I'd say okay. But if you want to learn boxing, you box. And you can do strength training, really high level stuff. We're not gonna do a stupid plank with a hot ring on our arm. Come on, buddy. Fake MMA fraud. Yeah, I'm gonna call some guy though. It's dad.
Keep on going. One. Get those hands up. Okay. Let's go. We're going to move now. So what you do is going to go over and above. Okay, back and forth. Ten. Ten. Heart rate up. Again, this is just to get a workout in. Basics of boxing. I'm not gonna call it high level because it's not. Okay, round three. Okay. We're gonna throw one, two, shovel, the liver. Well, depending on where you are. Okay. It's a devastating combination if you get them in. You want to pick it up, elbows in here, shift your body over, and you're going right from there, okay? I don't want you to, you don't want to lean over, rip it, lean over, by that time you're already getting hit. So one line, okay, knock your hands out, or keep your hands up. Just going to open you up to get that shot in, I hope. And again, obviously if you're doing this for fitness, you want to keep elbows in when you throw that punch, Okay, pull your stomach in. Okay, step in. Push it down. The better you get at boxing, the more calories you burn. Again, you can get your head offline, meaning don't stay right here. You can even step out a little bit. Okay. That's where you throw overhand right. Okay, but for now it's Throw it up. Again, throw it in, your hands, 45 degrees. Take it driving your thumbs through the rib. Rip, catch it right under the rib, right here. Keep my body in line. It's going to get really tight for the bag way it's set up. Now, for an uppercut bag, this tighter one, one in the ten, it's like a five. If you gotta stop the bag, stop with a jab, don't stop with the hands. Okay? Let's move out. Now I want you to really move it out. I want you to throw that right hand. Okay? Throw your hip. Elbow in. My hip? My elbow. Okay, it's not. It's not here. One, two, three. Okay? Now throw a looping right. A lot of European fighters like to throw that. Get that in there. Different styles. Good 
Make sure you hit with those front knuckles now. Okay. We're gonna go for push-ups. Okay. One minute, see how we can do. Here we go. Feet out wide. Okay, right up. What we're gonna do, give your shoulders a break. We go around every second, down. Keep your hands up. Push, push, elbows to your knees. Four minutes. Okay. Open leg stance, ball to your feet. Sit back on your heels. We just one, two, say like push, reach, push, two, one, two, could be three. Oh, you guys know why I've been on YouTube all these years. Because I train high level guys, and I get so sick of watching copycat trainers. Then they say it's their training, blah, blah, blah. They have no idea why they're doing it, how to put things together. But they're making money off others by copying. And that's why I'm not a YouTuber. But just turn 50 and I'm gonna start showing some stuff. <clears throat> Keep it up. Now if you can go faster, don't bring your feet together. Don't go like this. So my tech, my camera failed out on me. So just keep on doing that. And uh, there you go. Okay, now let's go with another boxing round here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna double jab. Two, okay, hook on the other side. Okay, not many people throw that right hook. It's underestimated. So one, one, two. I just wanna tap, like throw my hook. Okay, my body swings first, my hand just comes out, my elbow comes behind it. Okay, double tap. Okay, you don't have to come back to your face. Okay, if you want to come back to your face, work on that jab, good. Okay. You want to step behind it and throw it fast. Change up your jab. One, two, like this. Okay. So now I get my camera screw up on my someone call my phone. Still going though. No rest. No rest, guys. Sit back on that punch. 
okay? Because if you don't, you go flying. If you miss, okay, you overextend. I'm still, still here. Right back to my face. Right back to my face. What you can do is move your opponent with your jab to the side you want to go. They follow, you throw. A lot of times, if a guy's not a pro, he's gonna follow you. He'll be right here, okay? You gotta practice on stepping with your jab and still throwing. Hands back up. I was rolling up. Like that. Okay? So now just double jab. Pump. Again, get out of the way. If you're close, you can still throw a hook. Kind of you want to land it over. It's like a overhand hook. Like that. Like that, see? Okay. Stay to this. Over my chin. On good clock, you know, keep your hand up like a peacock, or whatever you call it. I'm going like this. Keep your chin down. Chin down. Basics still come. No idea when this round's gonna end because the skin goes screwed up. Go double hook. Double in. Okay. Okay. Let me just check my uh, timer here. I guess it's working. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, that was pretty close. All right, we're gonna go back to push-ups. Here we go. Now, truth be told, I brought a group of guys into a, the track today and we did a lot of sprints, so I'm pretty tired. But, I'm doing this. And we did push-ups. recording. Are we recording? Yes we are. Okay. Now what we do is gonna go right through. Two. Okay. One, two. Like that. Elbows in. One, two. Here we go. One, two. Come on. 
One, two, one, two. Elbows to your knees. Every time. Feet up wide. Toes out a little bit. All the way in the heel. Pro boxing trainer. Pro fitness coach. Not a fucking fry. 29 years of this shit. High level. Team, pros, you name it. I've done it. Rehab. <coughs> Pilates. You know what I mean? I've done it all. So, you're not falling on a fraud. We just started losing weight. Decided to. <coughs> They're a dancer. And now they're gonna throw on colorful pants and uh, mesmerize you. That's not me. The real deal, just like always feel. Okay? No mask, just straight on. Shit that's gonna work. I'm not gonna throw a burpee and then a <coughs> jump to the ceiling and do fireworks. Just gonna throw real stuff together to give you real fast results and teach you some stuff as you go. Come on. You know it's also, you don't have to sit here and be undynamic if you're in a room. You can use it. <clears throat> you don't have to sit there in front of a TV and just stay in one place. Pick up a broom. Because you know what? If your training is making you work on the broom, take that thing, snap it, throw your sneakers on, go sprint outside. Fucking grab a tree to start climbing. Because the broom's gonna do shit. How's it stretching maybe? If you throw it behind your back. Not worth your time. Not enough resistance. Not enough aiming. Just pick up a one pound weight and start working out. Come on. Four minutes. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Now to get motivated, what I do is, in my mind I say you're a piece of shit. Okay, that's myself. It's only because I've been, you know, at a level way above this before. So, now, we're gonna do four punches. Since we just worked legs, we're gonna go four punches, and we're gonna weave, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, weave, okay? <clears throat> just get in motion, okay? Just try to work rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Move it. Move it. I'm bounced out of the way. What I do is one, two, down. Use this leg to pop back, okay? And you can pop this side. We have five minutes. That's why. That's okay. This is actually better than what I was going to do anyways. So, five minute round. 
Using your legs. Make sure you get down there. One, two, four. Ha. Don't go back. I'll go back here and go like this. Okay? You fall and you punch. Okay? Get out of the way. Get your head out of the way and bring it back in a position. That's why we weave. If we weave. Now, do you have to weave? No. If you're a good boxer, you can come here and start throwing more combinations. This is just to get you to weave, show you the basics, and to get you moving. I want to know this is not high level workout. This is just to get you to move, work on some basic fundamentals boxing. Okay? I'm not going to go, let's go champ. In this type of workout. So if you want to comment below, go ahead. Try the workout. Let me know. If you want to work on some other stuff, I will. because I can throw those punches and do a takedown, okay? Narrow stance, narrow stance here also with the guy's a technician and more of a European style wrestle. Anyways, off on a tangent. Okay, that's the bag. Grab some two pound weights. Okay, let's finish up. Here we go. Smooth. I gotta figure out this camera. I can't keep going on. It keeps on shutting off, putting on, shutting off. Now you know why I'm not a YouTuber. My camera. And me. Hands are up. Let them flow. Have fun with it. Right back to your chin. Uppercut. Then flow. Boom, 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 boom. We can move. Some people tap. Okay. Get them flying. Okay, guys. That's your workout. Again, if you need easy wraps. Check out the link below. Right now I just have them for ladies. If they fly off the shelf, they're unbelievable. Padding, they, you can breathe in them, you can pull at them, they're easy. Again, they come with an extra pair that you can wrap around and get secure, because you want secure around your hands. But if you just want a pair that you can throw one and 
throw some quick bag stuff and do some weights. This is it. They're coming out for guys soon. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, I will see you guys uh, hopefully soon. And hope you like the workout. Let me know. Have a good day, guys.